Quick, looking for an official word. Have you heard about uh, Malcolm Miller? Uh, Malcolm Miller obviously sustained the injury yesterday. I think our medical team is still evaluating him. I'm not sure the exact status of it right now, so still wait and see. But, uh, you know, really a tough effort played by that kid and good to, to go after it. We'll see what happens now for the medical team. All right, now for you guys, of course, 0-3 in the round robin portion. But is there anything you shift, anything you change focus on when it comes to, of course, these next two games? You know, I think the first two games are, are sort of this preseason sense. And now it's the playoffs, and now we really play the players that are going to get us the win. We're, we're coaching to win this game now. I think in terms of our execution needs to improve. That's what we worked on in practice today. That's what we need to see our players do in the game for us to be successful. Uh, a couple guys that you guys should be familiar with, of course, Miller being out. But talk to me about McKinney and what your expectations are for him, knowing that he's one of those 3 and D guys that you guys have developed within the program. And Malachi Richardson, who's played really well with his three ball, at least. No question. I think, uh, first of Alfonso, I think he is a player who is very versatile, right? So the next few days, we may see him playing more big four and five even positions uh, in terms of using some of his, his rebounding ability. And then with, with uh, Malachi, his ability to shoot the ball is incredible, right? And we need to really find a way to, to, to get that into our offense more. And him starting and him getting looks will, will hopefully come more attempts is what we want. We've asked him to say, shoot more threes going to make more threes, but the biggest thing is defense with him, as with the rest of our team. Get back in transition, stop your guy first, then shoot on the other end, no problem. And OG Adenobi, uh, you guys shifted him a bit. Well, I know pos positionless basketball, but you kind of addressed the way you guys were using him on offense. What's the messaging to a young guy like that who's kind of taking that opportunity to put the ball on the floor a bit more? Yeah, I mean, I think it's been a great summer league for OG. I think people look at it and look at stats and all these things, and we can't get caught up in that. I think his, his growth and his learning has been tremendous. We put him in new positions. We've given him the ball in different places he's never had the ball in before and he's learning what to do with it. And for us, that's a huge success. And I think his growth has been tremendous through Summer League. And what he does the rest of the summer is what's going to prepare him for opening night for our team. Did you notice a difference between, I know it's positionless again, but when he was on the perimeter as opposed to when you had him in kind of that figurative four position on the floor? Uh, I, again, it's somewhat interchangeable basketball. I think his post-ups, we obviously saw different. We posted him at kind of a four position. Uh, as a wing player, he still is doing the same things he wanted to do. To me, there's not much difference three and four. It's how he plays with force and, and, and downhill attack at either position that's going to make the difference for him. I'd love to hear your take on both Giddy Potts and Raleigh Alkins because when you guys do make runs, sometimes it's one of those two guys that are really involved in them. Super excited about both those players. I think Giddy has shown his ability to sort of bounce people off and punch gaps and get into the lane. And he's also a shot taker, but now proving he's a shot maker. So we're really excited with what he's done uh, and we're excited for, for where he can go through the rest of the summer. Uh, and then Raleigh is someone who comes with a, a high pedigree in terms of his, his college career, his defensive ability, his, able, his ability to use his body. Uh, and now we need to see him start shooting more threes, making more threes, but again, impressed with sort of his pickup of our offense and ability to get to space properly. Obviously, you're going to be transitioning over to the head coaching job with 905. Have you been able to make that at all, or because Nick's still running things, has it kind of not happened yet? Like, no, it, we're, we're definitely fully in, in, in the midst of it. I think what's going to be exciting is Nick and myself working hand in hand, and that's been the case through Summer League and will be the case through our seasons. Uh, there's been a really good learning curve in terms of uh, me getting up to speed with what the Raptors team is going to be doing and then being to emulate that for our 905 team. But the working relationship is fully in place, uh, and that'll just continue as we get into the regular season. Do you have a vision for what Shadow Malalela basketball is going to look like come this fall in the 905? For sure. I mean, I think defensively it's going to be there's a major focus on using our hands and getting deflections. Uh, and, and by doing that, we're going to create turnovers, and by doing that, we're going to get more possessions in the game. If we have more possessions, we're going to win more games than the other team. So for, for me, it's about managing possessions, gaining possessions through our defensive intensity, uh, and, and owning the ball that way. On the offensive side, we've got to play with pace, just, and we're going to run similar offense that the Raptors are running. We're going to fill the corners, we're going to sprint, we're going to cut, drive, kick, swing, you know, and try and score the ball as quickly as we can and from the spots we want to shoot the ball from. Has anyone in particular here caught your eye that has shown you some stuff that you maybe didn't know they could do? Again, really I th yeah, I think Giddy Potts was a, a, he's been a real sort of standout for us in the course of this summer league. Uh, again, it's his ability to use the body that he has and bounce people off, and I think that's an underrated skill. Even though he's a shorter player, he's still able to use his, his, his strength to get into the paint and make things happen. And then I think you need someone that can create shots, and Giddy's shown he can do that. He's not scared to take the shots. He'll take them and he'll make them, and that's something you really need in professional basketball.